In today's episode I'm gonna show you how to weave in the ends the way that I prefer to do it. If you have a different way there's always different ways. So I'm um, just let you know that there's always choices. Now when I first started crocheting and for many many years I used to use my crochet hook and I used to weave in the ends. And when I did that and even though I went back and forth on it it would still always fall out. So whenever it just gets a little bit of rough housing I mean just to use it or just to wash it all these little ends would come out. Welcome to my channel and I'm here to inspire you, give you crochet advice and help you along with your next project. If you enjoyed this pattern please give me a thumbs up or even comment so I can gauge your interest. It helps me to know what to film next. So the thing about it is that um, you wanna use a tapestry needle and so you wanna determine the right side of your project. So it's usually the good side is the right side and the wrong side is considered the underside. So what you will want to do is that you will wanna take your tapestry needle and I always turn the project over and I go in the direction from which I just came. So when I was crocheting, I was crocheting this way because what I wanted to do is that I, I have the end, I pulled it through and now I'm gonna use the tapestry needle. So I wanna keep enough strand, a strand here so that I can hide it. And what I want to do is that when I go in here, I wanna just take my time but I also wanna split some of these plies apart from each other. So do not interfere with the actually outside of the edge because it'll change things. But if you just try to put your needle in between stitches, it'll weasel its way out and that's when um, you'll probably create words that are not in Webster's Dictionary or maybe they are now. So what I want to do is go about a uh, back about uh, an inch to two inches. So don't be cheap about leaving a short strand. So you wanna just weave it through. And when you pull through the very first time, when you pull on it, you wanna be taut. And when you pull, you don't wanna change the shape of your project. So just pull it taut. So you can actually see where you've dragged it through. Now if you go back through the exact same path, it's gonna all fall out on you. So you wanna change where you are coming out of to something new and then just weave it back through some more different plies going back in the opposite direction. The more plies that you can split apart, the less likely this thing will ever come out. And again, do not in interfere with that outside edge because people look at that stuff. So then you're gonna go back in the opposite direction. But you're not quite done and when you pull, again, don't change the shape, just be taut. And the final going through and if you wanna go through one more time, it's up to you. But what you wanna do is you go, wanna go at least the third time and back through the direction from which you just came. Again, staying to the back side. So you should never be able to see the needle popping through the front side of this thing. So favor the back and coming through like that. Once that's done, you can just safely take your scissors and just cut it down like that. And everything's good to go and it should stay in, uh, in place. And because you've gone back and forth the total three times, it's, it should be good. And when you look at it from this perspective, the other side, you can't even see that you've done that. So it's neat. So what if you have strands that are in the middle of a section like this? Let's talk about that next. So strands can fall out in the middle of sections like this. So we've obviously changed the color here from yellow to blue. And so you're just going to take that strand and again just what I just showed you. So it's coming from this direction. I buried it up underneath the stitches because that's what I would normally would do. And see I'm just naturally splitting some plies apart. I'm on the back side of the project. So whenever I crochet I always toss the, the um, loose ends to the back of the project. So I always know where it is and I wanna go back from which I came. So if you're cheap about the um, cutting of the strand being too short, you can't do this. So you gotta think ahead. So I've now just gone through once and a slightly different path going back in the opposite direction. Even if you wanna weave it through the strand that you're just playing with, like that you're dragging through, that's good too. You wanna get it through these, these plies. And then finally the third time is the charm. So I learned this from a friend and it's like wow just because I used to always use a hook and it used to always come out on me. It used to drive me nuts and I didn't realize that you could do something like this and therefore it's pretty much hidden right. And I stayed on the back side of the work and so when I turn it over you can't even tell that I did it. So this is a pretty neat idea and this would be how you would weave in your ends if you decided to do that with a tapestry needle.